spread mud it's the tile way now on tap for today we got for you guys an entire tile landing we're doing on a new addition bump out the main reason you want to do this in tile is it's going to be a high traffic high water area where people come in with wet shoes etc so what we're doing is we're spreading a versabond thin set on the floor we're then putting a piece of hardy backer board down half inch thick we are screwing the backer board we are then taking the thin set and going over all the edges after we tape, just like you would do with spackling uh, sheetrock. Next, it's time to lay the tile out. We're doing full tile, two thirds of a tile, one third of a tile pattern. We lay out the entire job, dry lay, see how it fits, make sure the homeowner approves, and then we lay out our wood grain tile. We use the wedge spacing system. It's going to have 1 16th inch joints as the homeowner wanted the thinnest joints possible. And then the wedge system keeps it all level to each other. We mud both the floor and the back. We use Pro Light Thin Set for setting all tiles. We find it is the best thin set for us. It's our personal favorite. We then, we set the entire floor. We walk away, we come back the next morning and we pick up all the wedges. You can kick them out. You can pick them out with pliers, whatever you gotta do. We then go back with a scraper and scrape off any of the thin set that might still be on the tile from touching it from while laying it. Next up, we pull out our grout float and we grout the entire floor. They went with a khaki colored grout for this floor. The idea was to pretty much match it and not be too light because all light joints will get dirty in this high traffic area. We grout the entire thing and then we let it sit for about 10 minutes before we go back and wet wipe it with a sponge. But it is not a saturated sponge, it is a mostly ringed out sponge. And we sit there and we wipe the whole floor down and remove all the residue. We then walk away for an hour and let it sit, we let it get hard. We then we go back and we get a nice product to clean the entirety of the floor. We scrub it, then once we get everything up, we go back with a dry towel and we wipe it and we make sure there's no residue left.